This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. Rainbird solenoids, as I was telling you, that you can see these solenoids, the one with the black stripe in it. And these are new, and this is a new one here. Now this is an old one here, right here. And uh, why it was replaced is that if you have this solenoid in the valve and you shut off the water for any reason at all, for emergency, but have the solenoid keep on running every day for 15, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, what it does is these are water cooled. And because they get cooled, then they don't overheat. But because there's no water running in it, it heats up. This starts to heat up, and as you can see, it got a little couple bubble marks on the top part, but then it starts burning the wire back. So right here, we cut it, we replaced, put a new solenoid on it. But I've had these go back five, six feet. People say, I got a wire break. No, what it is is on any type of solenoid in the field, if you turn off the water and still have the solenoids coming on for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, every day, day after day after day, and they're not cooled off, this overheats, it starts to bubble on top, and then from here, this starts to burn up. So even if I took a piece of wire, and then at the wire, I put the solenoid on the end, and I put a 24 volts on it over here and heat it up with no water, this would in turn burn up the wire, overheating it, changing the molecules on the wire and how it pulls into the solenoid and how it works and then you have to replace your solenoid for some reason you get a valve that sticks on and you go outside and shut off the isolation valve which would be a ball valve or an angle valve or a gate valve and say hey i'll fix it this weekend but it's now tuesday and i'm going to go ahead and shut it off make sure you go in your garage and turn off the timer because if the timer keeps on coming on on this station or any of the stations every day for 10 minutes, 15 minutes and the water shut off, you are going to start seeing burnt marks on the solenoid, burnt marks on the wires and all of a sudden you replace the valve and all the other valves have now been worn out and all the solenoids will start going bad within the next six months after that, if not earlier than that. So I just wanted to make sure any valve, any solenoid in the field, if the wires are easy and they're all nice and clean, that's good. But once you start heating them up and they get overheated, they start burning up where the wire connections are. Overheating, they won't cause a fire, but what they'll do is just start burning the wire and all the wire will start having black marks. If it's a red wire, you'll get black marks. A white, blue, any color, it'll overheat. So always make sure when I have a problem in the field and a diaphragm breaks or a valve head breaks and you shut off the valve, for the whole entire sprinkler system and say I will do it this next weekend make sure you turn off your timer just click it up to the top and make it so it's in the off mode and it doesn't come on automatic every single day and that will save you the life of your solenoids um, and make them go for years but if not you are just putting tons of stress on those solenoids so that was just another tip from us in the field and this is Richard Daigle thank you